This is the S12-3 650 watt sold by Seasonic with a current market price of $88 US. It is a permanently attached ATX power supply with a single fan mode. We tested one sample of this power supply and it stopped functioning before we completed our tests, so we cannot recommend it. For more information on the partial results and failures of the unit, see the product page on the LTT Labs website. The power supply comes in flimsy packaging and measures 150 by 86 by 140 millimeters. Considering cable flexibility, it has an effective depth of 170 millimeters. The S12-3 650 watt is accompanied by the accessories as shown and supported by a five-year warranty. This warranty period is below average for a power supply of this class. The permanently attached cables are of acceptable quality. They have sleeved insulation and are moderately flexible. They should cause no problem while building and cable managing your computer. The provided cable set does not include any 12 volt high power cables, limiting the compatible GPUs to older generation or lower power models. LTT Labs conducted all of the following testing at an ambient temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. The full test suite, including tests at extended temperature ranges, is available on the Labs website linked in the description. But before we get to the test results, here's a message from our sponsor. Thanks to Private Internet Access for sponsoring this video. We've been using their secure high-speed VPN for years, and you can too. Get a special deal by going to pia.com slash PSU circuit. The S12-3 650 watt carries an 80 plus bronze rating, and we have measured 86% efficiency at 50% of its maximum rated load. That is lower than power supplies in a similar class. Throughout the full rated output power range of 650 watts, there was a 0.220 voltage drop on the 12 volt rail inside of ATX specifications and worse than other power supplies we've tested. The rest of the output rails met ATX specification. This performance is as expected and will support a variety of component configurations. The peak-to-peak -peak signal ripple of the fully loaded power supply's 12 volt rail was alarmingly high at 91 millivolts, while the 5 volt and 3.3 volt rails had signal ripple of 49 millivolts and 52 millivolts respectively. Modern power supplies typically have no issue complying with ATX ripple specifications, but this unit failed at a few test points. We test a power supply's resilience to momentary power dropouts and ripples using our brownout test that interrupts the power for a few milliseconds. This allows us to measure how long of a power dropout the sample can sustain without interrupting the output power. The S12-3 650 watt was measured to withstand a 12 millisecond and 13 millisecond dropout at full rated load for 115 volt and 230 volt inputs respectively. This is shorter than desired and may be more susceptible to poor power quality. The excursion test momentarily applies up to 150% of the rated load to test a power supply's ability to support components that may temporarily require more than their rated current. While this is not required for non-ATX3 power supplies and the S12-3 650 watt was not designed to these specifications, we conducted the test out of curiosity. The S12-3 650 watt withstood a subset of excursions but failed with others. It is compatible with most systems, but may struggle with high-end hardware connected. We cannot recommend the S12-3 650 watt because of its failures while testing the protections. For full specifications and test results, follow the link to the product page on the LTT Labs website.